News 8 is putting you first tonight to make sure your family is ready for the winter. Yeah, if you have been considering buying a generator, there are a lot of options out there. And so to kick off our Weather Week series, Stacey Pengen joins us live from outside her studio on Humboldt Street with answers about generators. Stacy, you are there with home heating experts, but you're outside. Yeah, for very good reason. It is chilly out here, makes you think, you know, if I lost power, I, I want backup power for sure. First of all, the number to call if you have questions about generators, 287-8005. Give them a call. We are joined by Bill Hayes from Turnbull. First of all, we want to know, um, how do I choose the type of generator I need? There's a lot of them out there. Where do you start? I think you have to contact a qualified contractor that installs the generators and get them out to your home. Okay, they're going to ask you a few questions like how many circuits are really a priority? Uh, where can we locate the generator? Um, what are the codes required in the township that you're in? Uh, we have to follow through with them and make sure that where we put it, it is properly installed. We have to check the gas line. We have to make sure that the, where the gas meter is. We have to locate the generator in proximity of where the circuit breaker panel is. So there's a lot of things involved that we need to see. Some people try to get us to give them a price over the phone, and it's not fair to them or to us to try and do that. So it's best to get us out there. Now, when you said how many circuits, what are you referring to? Do you Are we talking about your whole house? Are we talking about parts of your house? Uh, parts of your house. Some people want their refrigerator on, is on a circuit or their furnace or their boiler. Uh, anything that's a priority, lights in certain parts of the home. Uh, if you pick one where they're only going to do a few circuits, you might get a little bit less of a price versus adding all the circuits and then you get the whole house to light up. So now, it's important to know that. Sorry, we're out here because we actually have a generator, and I have to say, I was a little surprised. I was expecting something a bit bigger than this. Is this standard? This is a standard size between 7KW and 20KW, depending on the size of the home. You're looking at anywhere from 1,100 square feet to 4,000 square feet, and we look at uh, how many circuits you have, and that's how we size it, and they're very quiet. So there you go. This is a generator. Looks just like an air conditioner. And we're going to have uh, a lot more questions answered. Hopefully, the number for you to call, 287-8005. We're going to head back inside where it's a bit warmer. We're going to talk about the forecast coming up right after the break. But first, take a look at your almanac for today. It was a chilly one. Stuck in the 40s all day long. But nothing but rain showers here. Talk about when we'll see the sun return next.